we have presented the results of uh, study 22, that is the first study to ever compare um, monotherapy of checkpoint inhibitors versus combination of them. Uh, in this trial, uh, the combination of an anti-PDL1 like dovolumab and an anti-CTLA4 like tremolimumab was uh, tested. In the original design, uh, three different cohorts were compared in a randomized fashion. One cohort was receiving uh, monotherapy of tremolimumab. Another cohort was receiving trem monotherapy of duvalumab. And the third cohort was receiving a combination of a lower dose of tremolimumab with the standard dose of duvalumab. But then during uh, the study conduct, uh, signals that the uh, first dose of uh, CTLA-4 blockade was significant in terms of producing a higher uh, expansion of activated T cells uh, came to our um, observations. And uh, also, it, from data coming from a melanoma and lung cancer patients, it became apparent also that the dose of uh, tremolimumab or other CTLA-4 inhibitors is relevant in terms of achieving better clinical outcomes. And for this reason, a fourth cohort uh, in which patients were treated with a single priming dose of tremolimumab at a high dose of 300 milligrams was in combination with the usual dose of ivolumab was added. And so with what we are presenting uh, here is uh, the results from patients treated in part two and part three of this study 22 uh, that uh, all together uh, include uh, more than 300 patients treated with these four different um, combinations or monotherapies. Population that was targeted included uh, a minority of patients that were naive to serafinib and a majority that were either intolerant or progressive to uh, serafinib. And uh, in terms of um, tolerability, uh, um, there was a good tolerability profile with no new signals uh, across the different cohorts. Um, and uh, uh, those cohorts that included a higher dose of tremolimumab, this means tremolimumab monotherapy of, or a single priming dose of tremi plus duvalumab, uh, was, well, these two cohorts showed uh, um, slightly higher incidence of treatment-related adverse events including those that uh, needed uh, systemic steroids to be administered or uh, needed a study treatment to be discontinued. And this occurred at a maximal rate of 10% of the patients only. So across cohorts, tolerability was uh, fairly uh, good. Indeed, when we looked at uh, a relevant um, uh, immune-mediated adverse events, uh, the, the most frequent ones uh, were, as usual, uh, those related to the liver in HCC patients. Uh, but uh, increased transaminases occurred uh, at, at a maximal rate of 15% uh, of the patients in the cohort treated with a higher dose of tremolimumab plus tubolumab. And, uh, and a lower dose, uh, higher rates in, in the other cohorts. And only a fraction of those, uh, less than 5% were grade three or higher. So again, good uh, uh, tolerability with uh, uh, little impact on uh, uh, treatment continuation. In terms of efficacy, um, overall survival, uh, was highest for patients um, receiving the high dose tremolimumab 
plus duvalumab at 18.7 months. And in the other cohorts, uh, ranged from uh, 11.3 to 15.1 months. And uh, these highest or longest survival was also um, parallel in the um, uh, objective remission rate that was highest again with the highest dose of tremolimumab in combination with uh, duvalumab at 24%, including some complete responses. Um, interestingly, also median duration of response was um, better with uh, uh, the tremolimumab monotherapy or the high dose tremolimumab in combination with uh, duvalumab. And um, uh, an interesting pharmacodynamic analysis that we are uh, reporting is consistent in the uh, identification of the uh, population uh, that is most frequent in peripheral blood at day 15 after treatment. And this uh, has been identified also in other tumor types. And now here, what we were able to see is that uh, patients who had a higher a rate of proliferating a CD8-4 positive T cells had um, more frequently an objective remission. Very interestingly, uh, the highest uh, rates of this subpopulation were observed in patients that were treated with the high priming dose of tremolimumab in combination with to volume up. So this provides a kind of a mechanistic explanation of the a better um, um, efficacy in terms of remission rates and uh, overall survival obtained with these high dose, single priming uh, dose of uh, premolimumab in combination with the volume up. And this is the uh, combination that is now being tested in the Himalaya phase three trial uh, that has compared this combination with sorafenib as first-line therapy in advanced hepatocellular carcinoma. Uh, 